Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the mini quest Barbarian Training, which entails nine new skilling methods that we can learn. And every training method has its own requirements. Currently on the screen are all the requirements put together. But I'm going to be doing these one by one. Where to start Barbarian Training is here just west of Gnome Stronghold and south of Barbarian Outpost. The easiest way to get there would be using a fishing cape teleport or using a games necklace. Let's go inside this hut and they will find Alu Godblessed. Let's talk to him and select option 1, you think so? And from this point you can select which skilling training method you would like to learn first. These are the first 4 out of 9. I'm going to start by doing the fishing techniques first. The first one is to catch leaping fish, and this requires 15 strength agility as well as 48 fishing. And the second technique is about harpoons. This requires 35 strength and 55 fishing. Items needed to complete the fishing techniques are a couple of feathers, at least two, I think. There are no recommended items, and for the teleports, simply one teleport to any harpoon spot. I'm going to be using the Carrie's Memoirs to teleport to Porpoise Krillius, but I think the closest teleport to a harpoon fishing spot would be using the Amulet of Glory to Karamja. And then also two teleports back to Otto Godblast. I'm going to be using a Game Cyclist since I don't have 99 fishing yet. I'm going to start with learning how to catch leaping fish. Therefore, I will need to select option 2. What can I learn about the use of a fishing rod? Click to continue until you see the message that you can seek more knowledge. Ignore it and then search his barbarian bed to find a fishing rod. Then go up north and catch or use any fishing spot until you catch some fish. Keep this fish because you're going to be needing it for your barbarian herblore. Next, return to Ado Godblast. Talk to him and select option 2 that you have fished with a barbarian rod. To complete your very first barbarian training out of 9. Select I seek more knowledge once again. And next I'm going to be doing some bare hand fishing. Therefore I will need to select option 1. Please teach me about your cunning with harpoons. Click space until you see that you're able to seek more knowledge. Once you see that, go away and teleport to any harpoon fishing spot. I'm going to piss Krillius since I don't have any closer teleport to a harpoon fishing spot like a Amulet of Glory or a Cathabi teleport. Once you've arrived to any harpoon fishing spot, select harpoon. You will need to have at least 35 strength, so be sure that you have that. And then just simply wait until you've caught a raw swordfish or tuna, depending on your stats and RNG. Alright, there we go. Once you've caught a raw fish with your bare hands, make your way back to Ado Godblast to complete the second barbarian training method out of nine. And also the final barbarian fishing training method. Ado, oh, God bless. I have fished with my hands to complete this barbarian training method. That is two out of nine. All right, let's say I seek more knowledge. The next skill that I'd like to get more training methods for is for farming. The first one is Dibberless and the second one is Pot Smashing. Pot Smashing does require you to have at least 15 farming. I just need it any kind of seed of your liking, as well as any sapling. There are no recommended items, and for the teleports, one teleport to any farm patch corresponding to the seed that you have brought. I did not 
as well as one teleport to any tree patch depending on what sapling that you have brought as well as at least two teleports back to auto god blessed to start your barbarian agriculture select the option how can i use my strength in ways of agriculture the first one is going to be timberless farming therefore teleport to any farm patch of your liking once you have arrived at your desired farming patch first rake it if it is your first time planting something and then plant your seeds without using a seed dibber and if something was grown on it then simply use a spade to clear it out next deposit your rake and make your way back to Ardo god blessed to complete the very first barbarian training and afterwards we're gonna immediately start the second one about bot smashing Oh, God blessed. We are back. I have planted seeds with my fists. The fourth option for me. I seek more knowledge. Then for the second farming technique, which requires 15 farming as well as any sapling, other any other fists related farming activities that I can learn. And once you can seek more knowledge, make your way to any free patch. It could be a fruit tree patch or a regular tree patch. Grab your rake and your spade, clear the farming patch, or if there is something grown in it, pay your gag member 200 GP to clear the patch for you. And then plant your sampling into the tree patch or the fruit tree patch. And you'll see that you'll no longer retrieve your empty plant pot because you have destroyed it. This concludes the barbarian farming method. Let's make our way back to Alagoblast to complete this final farming agriculture task. Back at autos, let's say I have smashed a pot with farming and this will conclude task 4 out of 9. I seek more knowledge and the next skill that I would like to do is Herblore. Therefore you need to select what is the secret knowledge of Herblore we talked about and he will mention Barbarian Herblore. Barbarian Herblore consists of just one training method and this requires 4 Herblore. For the required items, it is a knife, a attack potion of two doses, a regular one. You can use an empty vial on a three or four dose attack potion to divide it up to a two dose. Then also a regular knife, as well as some row that you can buy from the Chron Exchange. But since it's rarely sold, you'll probably need to have unlocked the very first barbarian fishing training to be able to catch leaping fish. And I used your knife on it to receive some row. Once you have some row, use this on a regular attack potion number two. And this concludes Barbarian Herblore. Let's talk to Auto Godblast. Let's talk about my training. And then select I have made a Barbarian Potion to conclude, to conclude training number five out of nine. And then there are just two more skills remaining, fire making and smithing. I'm going to start with smithing. Let's talk about the use of spears. 
To be able to make spears and hostas, you will need to have completed the quest type one eye trio, as well as completed the barbarian fishing training. To be able to make spears and hosta, you will both need a minimum of five smithing. Items needed for spears and hostas are the same. One log and one metal bar. But this depends on what kind of spear you want to make. If you want to make a bronze spear, you will need to bring a bronze bar, regular logs and have at least five smithing. Adamant spear is adamant bar, U logs and 75 smithing. And it is also a Kandrin hard diary task. And if you want to make a rune one, this requires a runite bar, magic locks and 90 smithing. Making a rune hosta is requirement for the Kandrin elite diary. Once you've completed Tybro 1i trio, have the smithing levels and the required items, go south of Alu Godblast and smith the barbarian anvil. But be sure that you only make one spear and not two. After you've made your spear, go back inside and talk to Otto and say that you've created a spear. Next, seek some more knowledge and ask him to tell you more about the use of spears. Then return to the Barbarian Anvil and select the Hosta option. Making a Runite Hosta is a requirement for the Kandrin Elite Diary. After having created any Hosta, Let's go tell Otto that we have created a Hosta to complete Barbarian Training 7 out of 9. And now there's only one more skill remaining and that is Fire Making. And this one also has two techniques. The first one requires you to have 35 Fire Making and the required items are some Oak Locks and any kind of bow that has a string attached to it. The second technique is a little bit more difficult, therefore you will need to obtain some chewed bones, and those are untradeable. And the only way to get chewed bones is by killing mithril dragons, which are combat 340, I think. But more on that in just a second. Let's first complete the first technique, which is a requirement for the Kandrin Hard Diary, as well as gives you access to the Ancient Cavern, which is a requirement for Dragon Slayer 2, Let's talk to Otto Godblast. Let's talk about my training. And then I am ready for your fire making wisdom. Please instruct me. Then after you see the option to seek more knowledge, go outside and use your bow on your locks to start lighting it. Click to continue and let's return to Otto Godblast to complete fire making technique 1 out of 2. Let's talk about my training, and then select the option I have set fire to logs using my bow. And that will conclude fire maker technique 1 out of 2. Let's seek more knowledge, and then I've completed fire maker with a bow, what follows next? Next, what follows is that you will need to make a pyre. There are two kinds of pyres that you're able to make. One is an easy one, which uses mangled bones, and that will spawn an aggressive barbarian. But what you want to do, to be able to complete this mini quest, is make a pirate ship using chewed bones, and that will spawn a peaceful barbarian spirit, and that will complete your mini quest. For killing mithril dragons, there are a couple of best in slots. Number one is currently the Tumican Shadow. But since I cannot afford it to make a shadow, I'm going for best in slots rank number two, which is going to be the melee setup. In the melee setup, you are going to be using either the Osmanton's Fang or the Dragon Hunter Lance, depending on which one you have, alongside with your best in slot melee gear and being on the Archaea spellbook to summon thralls. And for the infantry, the Book of the Dead, the Rune Pouch with the runes to summon the thralls, some prayer potions, super combat potions, and super extended anti-fire, and for the rest of the inventory, just some food. If you do not have any of those two weapons, then I do not suggest you to use melee. Instead, I would suggest you to use magic. If you're using magic, then your gear doesn't matter that much, just bring your best in slot weapons with an anti-dragon fire shield and your best staff. This could be a Trident of the Seas, Trident of the Swamp, or an upgrade from that. If you are on a budget, the second best melee setup would be to use this setup. 
using full carols and a Zemirak and Hosta. If you also cannot afford to have a Zemirak and Hosta, then I would suggest to swap out the melee gear for some range gear with some diamond bolts enchanted. You will definitely need the diamond bolts enchanted if you want to take on the mithril dragons with such high defense. When you run out of food and you want to restock, also bring along a game necklace to teleport back to BA, restock and then go back to mithril dragons. Once you think you are ready to defeat some mithril dragons, let's head south back to Otto Galblast. But instead of going to Otto's hut, just a bit up north, there's a source of the backstory on Falls. There is a small pier or jetty. Go stand on top of it and then click on the whirlpool in front to jump into the ancient cavern. By having started the second Barbarian Firemaker technique, you now have access into the ancient caverns. Once we're in here, let's drink an extended anti-fire potion and use protect from ranged. Let's climb downstairs and then run southeast. There, between the rocks, there should be some hidden staircase. Climb upstairs and there you'll find a handful of mithril dragons. If you're using ranged or magic, Stand from a distance, use spread from ranged, and keep attacking the mithril dragons. Keep your health high, at least above 25, and that's about it. If however you are using melee, then stand in melee ranged and use protect from melee instead. It is up to you if you want to use offensive prayers or not. And now it is just a little grind of RNG. Keep killing mithril dragons until you've received the 1 in 43 drop of chewed bones. Once you have this, let's teleport back to BA and prepare to complete this mini quest. And once you have your chewed bones, bring any kind of logs with a tinderbox and an axe back to Ardu Grotto, and near the pier there should be two pyre sites. Now before constructing the pyre site and completing this mini quest, I do suggest you to kill two birds with one stone. As there is also a Kandrian Elite Diary task where you need to construct a pyre ship using magic locks and chewed bones. However, this task does require you to have level 85 in both fire making and crafting. If you cannot meet both the skill requirements, then I would suggest you to bank the chewed bones until you have those skill requirements. If you really want that mini quest to be green in your quest log, then you could complete this mini quest using any logs and skilling requirements of your liking. But that will also mean that you will need to get some more chewed bones once you meet those 85 crafting and fire making. Once you have your logs, axe, knife and chewed bones, let's construct a pyre ship. And using chewed bones you will spawn a peaceful barbarian spirit. Once we have spawned that peaceful barbarian spirit, let's make our way back to Ardo Godblast to complete task 9 out of 9 and complete this mini quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Barbarian Training Mini Quest. You are awarded with 9 new skilling techniques, which are needed for a handful of hard and elite diary tasks, as well as access to the Ancient Cavern. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Get thanked by!